Hi everyone, welcome to your reading. Remember you can check your shorts, your weeklies, your top placements. Every day more or less you're going to have content on the channel for you. Um, thank you to those of you that are supporting your signs because it is making a difference. Um, and if you want any of my services then it's all in the description box as always. So this is going to be good for your sort of your next seven to ten days or an energy check-in overlapping of your last reading um, and even your bonus readings. OK, so nothing expires when another one comes out. Basically, if you only caught your reading two days ago, and it was only posted two days ago as a bonus or a short or an energy check-in. Still, your seven to day, ten day weekly or monthly is valid. So let's see what we've got for you. To be honest, I'm getting something about your creative moves being important for you, like a favourite pastime of yours is going to be important to you. If you're indulging in that, that is good for you. Um, it's kind of like, it could even be being active. Um, it could be, it's just something that's going to be uh, a fa maybe a favourite movement for yours. It's perfect for you and for your energy that I'm feeling for you. Remember, if you're new and this is the first reading you get, I um, channel uh, as well as tarot. Sometimes I just channel and I'll put tarot or I'll be on the camera while I'm channeling a message for you. Okay, so we've got balance and we've got gossip. With these two cards, balance is definitely something that you need to balance. And maybe this is where I'm getting that perfect thing, that perfect news, that perfect thing for you, um, which is perfect for your energy um, right now and upcoming. Some of you have actually already got back into this or thinking to get back into this. And I do, I do really um, think that's going to be a really good idea for you. And the balance card to me really emphasizes that. Now, some of you could be overworking and some of you I'm getting that it's not only overworking. Some of you are in a really a, a sort of like a mental battle. Um, but we do have a workaholic card. This is really about also. Maybe where some of you I'm getting are running, uh, running towards something um where you really eagerly want something and that means you might be chasing it away so be wary of being deceived by your own desires kind of thing um chasing illusions as well like a seven of cups kind of energy being too or uh, result orientated result orientated so you might have compulsive behavior I'm also getting for some of you certain foods that are triggering you, your health to be imbalanced. Um, and so that's what I'm getting with that and overall channeling of your energy. Gossip is an interesting card because gossip is about, you know, it's really about maybe you've got a prejudice or a misunderstanding towards certain people. Um, and maybe you need to reframe how you're seeing it. But there's something about freedom and there's something again about that movement, maybe about dance. It's about honouring the uniqueness of others. Even this might be the naivety of others or your naivety, supporting your vision, uh, making sure you have an appreciation as opposed to a lack. But really, I'm still getting enjoying that pastime thing of yours that's going to give you a lot of confidence call to look at the bottom of the deck some of you might be in a chapter of ending something within your life to head to something new um, it could be bittersweet so if you're leaving a new job for another job and you've been in a job for quite some time sometimes that farewell can be bittersweet it's like I'm excited but I'm nervous for the new thing but I want to take it because it's more money, etc. So interesting cards we've got here for you. Let's get into the tarot. I really feel also your communication. Uh, when you look into the cards and what I've just channeled, your communication is going to come across more confidently and differently, um, which differently, and it's going to get it's going to come across more confidently, but not in a um, egotistic way, which is it's always good. Um, 
I'm going to see what energies come out in the tower, but I am feeling a heavy Scorpio energy. Um, and it could be you or it could be something else or someone else. So we've got the Eight of Cups, we've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Page of Swords, but before the Page of Swords, we've got one that fell down, and that was the Empress. Okay, so interesting here, we have, just put these aside, okay, we've got, um, this is where, you know, you're getting back into maybe even researching that past time of yours, but you're really walking away from, I know this might be something classic, what doesn't serve you, but that's what you're doing. And you're walking away towards what supports you, what supports your confidence, what supports your divine feminine creativity, as opposed to the yang of always on the go. Um, now, I'm going to get more cards, but I am getting another message for you. I feel like you're understanding yourself more and that's what's giving you the confidence to move away from things. Even if it's during a day, you decide, I don't want to go here. It's not fulfilling me anymore. I'm not going to go anymore. You know, that's what that can be. Eight and eight. Well, how beautiful is that divine? I'm getting the word intervention. And here we've got the Hierophant, which is a five. Very heavy Taurus placements in this as well. Um, which is, you know, it is not necessarily insignificant, obviously, um, because there are heavy placements. Now, some of you, it could be around your belief systems and you're setting yourself free from that. You're setting yourself free from um, something that you feel chained to and that's really giving you that breakthrough, that confidence to really get into who you are, um, understanding yourself much uh, more and how much you are actually changing. You're recognizing that. I feel like some of you are actually find, trying to find your center with this balance card as well. Interesting week. So this could be quite heavy spiritual as well. And look at you. This is you kind of you know where you want to go some of you are looking into something researching some of you could be planning to take a holiday or it could be like a goal you've got and you so you're starting to look at um researching that goal and just looking at getting yourself excited booking stuff um you could have a challenging decision in front of you or that you're kind of feel like you're walking on thin rope on something um upcoming and if that's true you will know and there's the death card and there's the three of swords again we've got a bit of you know not necessarily again but some of your readings in the past have got this grief card so something's really giving you some heartache and there's a death and a rebirth and remember i mentioned about scorpio energy being quite significant and here's the scorpio card um really ending something and when I decided to look at the bottom of the deck, we also got a completion card here, look. Um, again, double confirmation. You've got a lot of double confirmations of what I've been mentioning, which is interesting. And justice, we've got Libra energy. So um, coming into balance, again, we got the balance card, didn't we? So coming into balance, some of you could have gone through a divorce, by the way. So this, this can indicate, some of these cards can indicate a divorce. Um, or something that you partnered up with, maybe even a home where you've gone through a legal battle. Um, I really feel like it's even a contract, but it's been heavy on your heart. It's really caused you quite a lot of grief. But I think the universe is going to give you back what you feel you've lost. It might have just been a bit slow. I do think that it might have dealt with, uh, it's definitely to do with a partnership. And I think that's when you when you tap into that creative muse for your energy 
and the way you're starting to come across um, confidently is going to really serve you. The Ace of Swords, that mental clarity, that confident communication, again, confirmation of what I was channeling there. Seven of Cups, moving away from confusion, moving away from not being able to see things clearly, people clearly, and knowing when to say, no, I don't feel like doing this or I'm ending this chapter. Um, there's definitely been an end to a chapter and some of you could have been something toxic, codependent. Maybe you felt codependent on something or someone. We've got um, energies of Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus again, and we've also got another energy, which I'm forgetting, Libra. Okay, so these could be energies around you and um, in your, uh, around you or that you're dealing with. Know that the universe is going to be giving you back what you might have lost as well. So with that, I just want to pull you a, um, I think I decided I will pull you a crystal to see what we get. So um, beautiful reading overall because you've come out really strong. You, I think you've seen how much you are changing um, and it could be due to do with, you know, some ending or a loss in your life that sits there and lingers a little bit. This could also be a loss of someone, a pet or something, um, but there's definitely, you know, you're coming out stronger um, and your energy where you feel that you need to release, remember your creative muse, you're understanding yourself more, which is beautiful. Titanium rainbow quartz, a very rare one as well. This is multifaceted, which you can obviously by the rainbow titanium. There are many layers and dimensions of a situation or person that you're asking about. And I think it's to do with this whole chapter and you're starting to understand that the end of something and the rebirth of something else, a journey that you've been on. Um, and it's telling you to stay strong in your faith. Positive outcome is dependent on how you keep your mindset with dolomite. It's a heart chakra as well. And I think you're realizing that because you're starting to have the confidence within yourself that you've not had before. Um, and you might have your days where if you've had a heavy loss that you don't feel balanced in your emotions, in your mental energy, which I said at the beginning, but you are learning to start starting to balance that. So a beautiful reading I see here for you. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always check your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign and come back to these or check these whenever you're called to them. It doesn't mean that it's seven to 10 days or an energy check-in for a certain amount of time. We're all on different time periods. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and a, a thumbs up. Subscribe. You might want to share it with someone who you think is going through something very similar. And I'll see you in the next reading, Beautiful Souls. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.